guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shivangi. If you're seeing my face for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and of course the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And of course, it's free of cost. So just do it right away. Anyway, jumping into this video, as the title suggests, I have some very, very important things to share with you in this video. This is basically my trump card. You guys know that I did the one year associate's degree at FIT as a part of my dual degree program with Nift Mumbai. This is something that I've treasured for a long time now. And um, I feel it is time now to share this part of my life with all of you so that you also benefit from it. You guys already know that um, if you do not know, I'm going to tell you this because it's not blowing my own trumpet, but, but I kind of want you to realize the importance of this learning diary and everything that it holds because um, yeah, it's, it's very, very special to me and I want you guys to learn from it, to hopefully get inspired from it, take something back home, uh, you know, uh, from this learning diary. This learning diary has also been made by somebody who graduated top of her batch at FIT New York. She was awarded the summa cum laude, she was in the Dean's List of Honor, she scored a 4.0 GPA, scored straight A's all throughout the one year that she was there. And uh, these are all my cheats and hopefully you guys will learn from it. And uh, yeah, without wasting any time, now let's quickly dive into this video. Hey guys, so this was basically the learning diary I used the entire one year at FIT and all the illustration work, inspirations, all my back-end brainstorming is all in here on this diary. So I'm going to take you through everything that I did in my one year at FIT and of course this diary also continued to be with me in my final year of college. So this is a special, special diary and I've been saving it for later so that I could show you the progress of my learning diaries over a course of four years. So this basically is my project brief part. This was I think the first project we had gotten at FIT. In my class for illustration, my professor for illustrations was Professor Josephine Vargas, who was one of the best faculties there. Of course, all the faculties when it comes to FIT are the world's number one because the college is the world's number one. Anyway, this was the theme board that I'd come up with. So it's a very, again, wanderer inspired kind of a theme, full of spirit and full of life, a thousand memories behind her, a thousand others she yearns to make. So yeah, again, the travel and the wanderlust within me always came to the you know forefront somehow. Anyway, these are again scans of all my uh, marker and color pencil renderings. So what I've done here for this learning diary was I had a separate uh, sheet where I used to make the actual, uh, you know, trial and error things and then I would scan them in with my fabrics and uh, put it on, in here for me to refer to later. These were some rendering techniques again that I had tried. This was stripes, this was plaid, I was actually going for stripes and then I merged it with plaid. I also tried kingdom. So different kind of explorations of textiles were happening. And as and when they were happening, I was pasting them here. This was my color board. Mind you, this was my first time doing fabric texturing on um, Illustrator. So it was quite tough. But, oh, okay. So the theme is called Spirit of a Traveler. Then these are some explorations in terms of the flat drawings that I had done, the silhouettes. These were some illustrations which I had scanned. This here ended up being the outcome. These were my illustrations, the final board, all of it, the customer profile. This is one of the projects. Then again, day into evening wear was another project that we had to do at FIT uh, for illustrations. And the designer we were given for this particular project was Charles James. So again, the project brief here is to design a collection of eight ensembles, four suits and four evening wears. And uh, you had to pick up an American designer for it. And I had actually picked up Charles James, correct. So you had to research on the design philosophy of the designer, do a little background. So this is all of that information which I made on Photoshop and Illustrator. And later I uploaded all of it, uh, you know, um, on the drive for my faculty to see. And once it was approved, I printed these sheets out and kind of pasted them here because this was my research. A lot of people like to do a lot of uh, cut paste and craft. I do the same. This is the first time I was actually exploring only digital medium to kind of uh, put together my collages and work. The theme here was a dandy wave. Again, these were my brainstorming. 
this way some Randy inspiration right here so some images from the Randy of 2012-13 all of that We've got some Gucci here then again uh, inspiration from bloggers of course I was always obsessed with bloggers even back in 2012-13 some street style looks because I wanted to give it a kind of dandy look loose trousers, boyfriend jackets, oversized shirts so and then here comes the colour and fabric so this is all you know uh, since we were doing like a I was doing an autumn winter kind of feel so tweeds, plaids, wool, a lot of velvet, a lot of you know heavy weight and medium to heavy weight textiles were used for this these are all the renderings that I've done these were very 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 different from my taste but I was pushing myself these were different renderings I had tried for lace, for plaid again for velvet just to kind of get the texture for sequin this is another project which was uh, the withered leaf so these were my inspirations for it beautiful withered leaves that I've taken in images I think are all from Pinterest again the kind of color palette that I wanted to go for I wanted to kind of create an ombre so this is some home furnishing inspiration that I took and ombre was a rage back in 2000 12, 13 guys, it was really a you know, rage. So these are some of the looks and silhouettes that I kind of was very very inspired by. This was an evening wear collection I've done and this was in my um, second semester at FIT. So this was done under Professor uh, Mary Bridgman who's again an amazing professor. She's a uh, senior designer. She used to be a senior designer at Translaw and I'm not aware of um, you know what she's doing now but she was Again, an FIT graduate, she was also a faculty at Parsons, so one of the best, best faculties, guys, from some top schools were teaching us. These are all the fabrics that I used to go and source from different fabric stores. And again, these are all the other fabrics that I kind of sourced from. This is my brainstorming here. This is some hair and makeup techniques that I tried and, you know, seen the kind of look I wanted for my illustrations. Again, these were renderings. So these were mini renderings of the actual illustrations. This again was my inspiration for the second project that I did in my second semester, which was inspired by Krishna. Of course, had to have a little bit of Krishna, had to have a little bit of mythology. And I start feeling all nostalgic. So this entire collection is kind of inspired by the colours of a peacock feather. And uh, these were some of the silhouettes. I wanted the collection to be Indo-Western. The inspiration, the trim details, these were all done digitally, guys. And then all of it was, uh, you know, converted into like a folder. And then I printed these out on good paper. These are some fabric inspiration. Again, embellishment inspiration. And then I finally decided to kind of water paint on you know my gowns and products and these were those renderings with possible color swatches so yeah and then these were the fabrications this was again some inspiration these were some ideas that I had again some ideas that I had so that's where that project the brainstorming bit ended this is another project that was on digital flats and uh, again this was the first time I was trying fabrics and how you know checks and plaid and stripes and all of these and things you can work and uh, this is just like a mini project with some flat drawing here at the end of it this was another project in my digital flat dry drawing class and uh, we used to do all of these on illustrator guys everything was done on illustrator again these were some of the inspirations so you see even after i came back to india as i said even after I came back to India, I continued to use this learning diary. I ended this learning diary with these product shoots and garment shoots that I did myself at... Uh, so this was done right in front of the flat iron building. This was done at um, the Brooklyn Bridge and both of these shoots literally were done with uh, the help of a friend, Ellie, and of course her friend, Brielle, who was kind enough to shoot this for me. She was a pop singer, by the way, guys and she agreed to do this for me and it was so sweet of her. This again was my roommate, Alison, and this is a paper dress that FIT kept to keep it on display. And yeah, so this is again a menswear project that I come uh, back to India and done. 
well, uh, the moment I think the semester that I came back, seventh semester, we had to take up a module and I had taken up menswear. So this is that menswear, um, you know, photo shoot and the details of the garment and everything. And I started kind of um, keeping all of my learning experiences and all of my khachpach and you know brainstorming all here. This was some prints that I developed for a kidswear collection because I had also taken up kidswear as one of the modules. These were the textiles for it, the trims that I had used for that collection. And uh, the, I think this was Mirch Masala. Yeah, the theme was Mirch Masala. It was organic clothing. And this is all print that I developed and done. And uh, this is actually my faculty's daughter who had modeled for me. She's one of the sweetest kids and she was so fond of me. I still, still, um, you know, I'm super fond of her, Franjali. She's super, super cute and she'd done this shoot for me. This was my big moment guys, these two garments were designed by me, this was completely designed by me and this was a garment which I was a part of in the creative process and I'm so so happy that this actually made it into work and uh, while we were working on it, I'd also done a photo shoot on these garments with one of my college juniors, Priyanjali, again her name is also Priyanjali. This was my internship collection. This is like a gist of all the products that I've made in my internship. This was L Design Awards. More about this later when I talk about competitions that I've participated in. But this is like a little booklet that I've made for all the teachers uh, to have and also all the jury members when I actually went for L Design Awards. This is something I'd given to all the jury members. This was STC, which is Society of Dyers and Colorists. This was that award uh, which landed me in Hong Kong and China, which was crazy, you guys. So yeah, this learning diary basically has all of that and uh, yep, all my treasured memories, all my hard work in a book. I think two years of hard work in this little book. Was that a little too heavy or what? <laughs> it brought back so many nostalgic memories for me. It brought back so many things, so many sweet, bitter memories of working hard, slogging in the labs, making sure everything was perfect and researching and researching and researching. I hope this video helped you guys in some way. If it did, you know the drill. Again, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel, share the good word. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.